Welcome or welcome back to my channel. In this tutorial, you will learn how to cut a short shag haircut and a long shag haircut using dry cutting and wet precision cutting techniques with identical mapping, zoning and sectioning. We start the short shag haircut with a one inch thick diagonal back section. I direct my first section forward and use the eyebrow as my guide before over directing my section across the face shape before cutting. Perfect for curtain bang shapes. We now use the length from the sides as the guide for the side section. This becomes our guide for the front zone. We repeat the same process on both sides, continuing to take diagonal back sections using our guide from our first section, over directing our fringe across the head shape until we run out of hair. We repeat the same process with the long shag haircut. However, with this shape, I'm directing the fringe down to show you a different heavy curtain bang shape. I have chosen the lower lip as my guide for the curtain bangs to highlight and accentuate the lip zone of my model's face shape. With the short shag haircut, I elevated each section to create softness and texture, and I also over-directed the fringe to create a stronger sweep in the curtain bangs outline. The example on the long shag is to create a more moody edgy version of a 70s Farrah Fawcett Vidal Sassoon shag haircut. With both haircuts we continue to take diagonal back sections directing every new section to our original guide until we hit the crown zone area or until we run out of hair. This will create the outline for both short and long shag haircuts. In the top zone of this haircut, I'm simply elevating each section up 90 degrees and cutting a flat line. You'll notice that I'm cutting underneath my fingers as I'm using the dry cutting technique. I've chosen this technique to add a more lived in textured result. I'm now refining this top zone by elevating each horizontal section over the head and finally cutting into the ends. This will help to retain length whilst adding maximum interior texture and movement. This method is amazing for curly and wavy hair textures and works a treat with straight hair to continue to add more texture resulting in a lived in beautiful shag haircut result. With the wet long shag haircut, I'm simply cutting a square line, taking fine clean precision sections, elevating straight up and cutting above my fingers, repeating exactly the same shape just with a different cutting method. We continue this process until we run out of hair. I continue to use multiple texturizing techniques to increase texture and movement in my shape. I use a combination of channel cutting, pointing, and also reverse point cutting. Elevating my sections and removing small amounts of weight strategically throughout my shape so I can maintain the structure of my haircut whilst adding precision texture and movement, creating really PC lived in ends with my short shag haircut. This short shag haircut resembles a wolf cut. So if this is something a client asks you, a lot of the short shag techniques are very similar to the new trending wolf cut. In the top crown zone, working down to the observable bone, 
I take my guide from the top and I dry cut a round layer. The reason why I've chosen a round layer in the crown zone is I want to create a head hugging shape that, that accentuates the roundness of the head because underneath this zone, I'm going to flatten it out. So it creates a great dip underneath the back in the nape zone, creating a more elevated overall shape with the end result. If you're enjoying this tutorial, go ahead and give me a thumbs up and let me know in the comments below. Be sure to check out the links in the description to other in-depth, step-by-step, short, medium and long shag haircuts, including dry, curly hair, lived-in shags. I refined this zone the same way I refined the front zones by elevating horizontal sections forward and removing the weight. I have disconnected the nape zone, taking horizontal sections, elevating straight up with point cutting. This will help to reduce maximum weight whilst elongating the shape horizontally and complementing the crown zone with the circular round layered shape. Overall, creating a more structured geometric short shag haircut. We complete this zone with the same texturizing techniques that we used in the front zone. With the long shag haircut, we use the front outline as our guide for the back zone. We continue to take horizontal sections, over directing every section forward to this cutting line. We continue this process until we run out of hair. Over directing to this guide will increase the length into the back of the haircut whilst creating a connection from the front into the back. We now flat wrap this haircut into natural fall, preparing for the refining and personalizing techniques. To refine the long shag haircut, I'm using deep pointing techniques to add soft texture and movement to the outline of the haircut whilst maintaining the strength and weight. To complete the refining process in this zone, I'll take the same diagonal back sections as the first short shag haircut and cut channel cutting from the mid lengths down into the ends, creating more texture and movement in the exterior of this haircut shape. I have prepared the short shag with a small amount of dry texture spray. You could also use sea salt spray. I'm cradling the hair up with my hand and directing high heat, high speed airflow until the shape is completely dry. If you've learned something new, or if you like this tutorial, go ahead and give me the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. This is my dry cut, short, textured shag haircut. Let me know what you think in the comments below. This is a super fun salon friendly haircut, also known as the wolf cut. I hope you enjoyed the long and short version of this tutorial showcasing the same haircut with two very different looks. 
And this is my long, disheveled, Farrah Fawcett inspired, lived in shag haircut. Let me know what you think. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Check out the description below for all the links to a playlist full of amazing step-by-step -step shag haircut tutorials. And if you liked this tutorial, be sure to watch these ones next.